Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about implicit differentiation. And for each problem, we're going to use implicit differentiation to find dy dx in terms of x and y. So, if I was given this problem, the sine of 2x to the second power, y to the third, equals 3x to the third plus 1. Okay? Now, I'm taking the sine of all of that. So, let's go derive this. Uh, using the kind of chain rule on the left hand side, derivative of sine is cosine. So cosine, uh, keep the inside the same, 2x squared y to the third, times the derivative of the inside. Now this is going to involve the product rule, right? Times, well, 2 down the, uh, times 2 is 4, so we have 4x, uh, so we have x divided by 1, so it's first power, y to the third, plus, well, 2x squared times the derivative of y to the third, which is 3y squared times dy dx, okay? That's equal to the right-hand side. This one's a lot simpler, 3 times 3 is 9. 9x nine squared, don't worry about the 1. Derivative of 1 being 0. So now my whole goal is to get dy dx by itself. So to do that, I'm actually going to divide by cosine to both sides, okay? So I have 4xy to the third plus, well, 2 times 3, we simplify this up a little bit, 2 times 3 being 6. 6x squared y squared dy dx equals 9x squared all over cosine of 2x squared y to the third. Now I'm going to subtract a 4x y to the third to both sides, slowly getting there. So I have 6x squared y squared dy dx equals, bring this down, 9x squared over cosine. 2x squared y to the third minus, this is what came over, um, we're subtracting both sides, 4xy to the third. Lastly, we're going to divide 6x squared y squared to both sides to get everything to get dy dx by itself. So to do that, I have dy dx is equal to, well, 9x squared over, we multiply down here, 6x squared y squared cosine of 2x squared y to the third power minus 4xy to the third over 6x squared y squared. Now the s is the space we could, uh, well I guess we could fit in here, I'm going to put it up here, right? Let's go simplify this a little bit, hopefully I can fit it in there. Alright, so the x's can cancel, x squareds can cancel out here, it's just simple simplification right there. Nine goes into, well, both by by 3, so 3 and 2, okay? Here, 1x cancels with this one, uh, 2 of the y's cancel with all of that, and the 4 and 6 become, what is that, 2 and a 3, okay? So, when I write this, my final answer, dy dx, okay, is, well, we have 3 up top, 3 over 2y cosine of 2 x squared y to the third, and that's cosines of all of that. Minus, here 2y up top, 2y over, there's a cutoff there, we're just left with 3x. Okay? Now there's probably a way, or I know there's a way, you can, you know, get us all one fraction, but in the essence of space, I'm kind of stopping there. So we have our final answer of dy dx equals 3 over 2y cosine, or 2y um, squared, whoops, not that squared, 2y squared, Cosine of 2x y to the third power minus 2y over 3x. So let's recap. We're given sine of 2x squ 2x squared y to the third equals 3x to the third plus 1. Left hand side, derivative of sine is cosine, and derivative of the inside of all that kind of use that chain. And the right hand side became x squared. Then from there, I divide both sides by cosine of 2x squared y to the third power. That's some simplification. Then subtracted 4xy to the third both sides, then divided by 6x squared y squared to both sides. And I have dy dx by itself. Did some algebra simplification, giving my final answer of dy dx equals 3 over 2y squared cosine 2x squared y to the third minus 2y over 3x. 